okay you're welcome my name is legendary boss 247 so in this video we want to learn how to make this cape right this cape you see here so the request was posted by some of my students so i want to show us how to make this cape right so first thing first you have to have your bodies like this now if you don't know how to draft the basic bodies i cannot teach you in this video we have tons of video on basic bodies already. You can go ahead, check down on the channel. You're going to see my basic bodies video, right? So this is a basic bodies. Now for your information, my front chest, my front bust measurement is bigger than the back bust. You can see this is nine inches from here to here, right? Now, if I check that for the back, it's going to be eight inches, right? Now also the front half length is 15 inches. Why that of the back? is 13.5 that is because my bust that here is 1.5 inches right so the back half length is shorter than the front half length now if you have watched my basic bodies video you should know all of that by now right so we want to go ahead on this very style we want to make this one here right so first thing first i want us to draw out the neckline now it's a basic neckline now this is a small shoulder i'm dealing with the shoulder of 14 here it's just a sample for this tutorial right so it's not to any particular measurement now a small shoulder like this i want to go for three inches wide neck now the depth for the front i want to go for three point three point five right it's just a small neck now for an adult you can go for a width of 3.5 right and then a depth of about 4 or 4.5 right so but this is just for um a teenager kind of right so we have this like this this is the front neck now of course we have a slit down the front which is about 4 4.5 inches there right there's a slit on the front there right so we're going to have a slit that goes up to this point now for this small measurement again i want to just make my slit a little bit beyond three inches right so remember the bust will cover this area so you don't want to expose the bust right so we're going to do the back neck also the width of course is going to be the same with the front that is three inches and then the back depth from what we are seeing here the back neck depth will not be more than one inch deep it's going to be a high neck behind from the start we are seeing that so i want to go for one inch behind here so we have this like this right so that is it about the neck now for the cape the cape actually passes um inside the princess line that goes to the shoulder so what do you want to do here you want to simply Check what is left on the shoulder of course the shoulder of seven which is 14 so if we take three out of it we are left with four here from here to here so you want to take the middle of that four we'll do the same thing here take the middle of this of four which is um two here like this right so we want to connect our princess line half inch above the nipple point this is the nipple point so half inch above that we will connect like this and then the same thing here we want to connect our dots our waist dots all the way to that point right now at this point you can choose if you want to contour a little bit or you want to leave it like this now mind you this is a stretchy fabric it is a scuba right i have something like that here which is this i showed you this in the previous tutorial right so it's just the same class of fabric with this right it stretches you can see how fitted this bust area is right it stretches now that is that again another key note i want you to pay attention to is if you take a look at this you will see that the center front is a bit wider than the bust span right so your bust span is your nipple to nipple measurement right now if your bust span is seven for this design i want you to add plus one whatsoever your bust span is make it plus one right so that it shifts a little bit to the side it is not directly over the nipple right so 
you want to add your boss band plus one inch before you divide by two right so this is going to be eight divided by two we have four so our boss band is going to be four right when drafting now remember i said plus one whatsoever your boss band is add plus one to read now like i was saying you can choose to contour now because it's a stretchy fabric i wouldn't want to contour much i will just go for 0 0.25 here and another 0 0.25 here right just a little contouring because of the design the style we have there and the nature of the fabric is a stretchy fabric you don't want to contour too much right so we have this and then so this is our contouring now in real sense the contouring could be more than this right so let's quickly cut this out so i'm going by my contouring here just a little contouring should not contour up to half inch so we'll have this Okay, so I'm just going to cut this out quickly. Okay, so this is just a simple body we'll use to get that skip, right? It's actually very simple, right? So this is our front block. We are going to come to the boss that I'll show you in a moment. simply slit it to this point here right so this gives us our draft of course we are going to close the boss that so that the side seam equates each other you get your masking tape and you simply close the 1.5 which is the boss that right so if we do this properly So you see, just for verification, now the side seam are going to be the same, you see? Remember, the front half length is 15, while the back half length is 13.5. But after closing your boss that, you're going to have them equal like this, and you have this nice armhole already. Now let's go over to the cape. That is the main issue here. So I want to get my center front. This is my center front, you can see. This is our center front, right? So you get your center back also this is a this is the neckline so you want to place their two shoulders together these are two shoulders that is why you have to cut the princess line the same point right the center of the shoulder right so you hold this like this this is our neckline and you want to simply put a tempera masking tape down here right and then we want to carve out our keep right now to get this cape you want to first of all get a piece of paper another piece of paper your drafting paper right and then you place this on it now let me quickly highlight the edges of this so that when i place it on the white paper you'll be able to see it clearly right because it's white on white let me highlight the edges for us to see. Right, so now if I place this here, I'm sure you can see the point. Right, so you want to place it like this. And then go ahead and pin down so that it doesn't shake while you are doing your drafts. Right, now mind you this is our shoulder point i'm going to draw it out for us to see this is the shoulder line here I just continue it straight down here this is the shoulder line right that's the shoulder line like this right and then we also want to have 
we also want to have these points highlighted now you see this is the line here so that when I take this off you can see right it ends at this point here ends at this point here right now let's draw out our keep right this is a shoulder line remember now let me put this on it so that you can see this is our front here's the side front so side to side here this is where our shoulder ends here right this is where our shoulder ends here now the keep falls from the shoulder with about five inches right from the shoulder with about five inches so we are going to do here plus five right and then you go over to the end it has a width here a small width here of for the sake of the fact that i'm doing with a small measurement i want to do plus one here you can do more than that you can do 1.5 right you can do 1.5 but for me i'm going to be doing plus one right so at the base here it's going to be one inch extra there here also i'm going to make it one inch extra here right so this is five inches that falls from the shoulder so here i want to do one and here also one and all you need to do is to now connect these points together one two three with a smooth curve right a smooth curve it all depends on the shape you want there is no there's no big deal on this let me get my curves okay so this is a curve i want to use here right have it like this and now we are not seeing the back of the cave you can end this anywhere but i just want to still take it up to the waistline right we are not seeing the back of this picture here i've not seen the back so we can actually take it to the end there right so this gives us the cape right so let's cut it out like this remember i've already highlighted here you can remove this before cutting or you can cut and then remove whichever way you want to do the choice is yours right so i can actually pull this out before cutting let me show you because i've already done my tracing out here like this right so like this and then you want to notch the shoulder so that we know the shoulder point when we are fixing this there right and then i'm just going to give it another notch here to indicate that this is the back side this is the back part of the kit right the back part because they are not the same shape you don't want to take here to the front while sewing right so this is it so you see this gives us the cape that falls away from the shoulder now we want to trace this on our fabric we want to trace this on our fabric so i'm just going to be using a satin here the leftover fabric we have here now mind you there are pleats on the cape right i can see pleats there on the shoulders therefore you are going to introduce slash and spread at the shoulder area now it depends on how much pleats you want from what we can see here i can see only two pleats at the front so i want to assume we also have two pleats at the back right now if one of my pleats is taking about 1.5 inches right we have two at the front that makes it three inches and two at the back that's another three inches right so we want to have this here i'll show you how to just simply slash and spread this So I have it folded into two so I can cut the two sides left and right at the same time, right? So we have this. This is a shoulder line, so I want to slit this open. Right? Now we need six inches apart, right? Three inches goes to the front pleat, three inches goes to the back pleat, slash 
and spread so spread by six inches right so pick your tape measure six inches apart six inches apart so I'm going to use three inches for front pleat, three inches for back pleat, like this so you can simply just spin one down like this while you now gauge the order so I want this to be six inches apart now you can do more than this right you can do more than this you can do more than six six is not a constant right you can do more than this right now you want to make sure you are working on the same level here like this you don't want to shift this more than this right you can see they are all of the same level they are all half inch away from my block here like this right so let's call this out we are going to be adding half inch all around for sewing allowance half inch all around is for sewing allowance This, this is the back part, half inch all round for sewing allowance. Now remember this is the back, you can see we made a notch here, so do that immediately. And then we made a notch at the middle here. Now what is the middle? The middle is 3 inches, right? Center of 6 is 3. So you know that this is the shoulder line here right and this other notch here indicates the back right so you want to have this this is for two sides so you cut a lining for this two exactly so we are going to do the same thing and turn the edge this is the edge this point here so we are going to turn only this part here this curve part here not the notch area this part here right so i've cut out the lining for the cape now i want to trace out my basic block pattern right so now it is time for me to remove this masking tape from the shoulder and go ahead and trace this out you already know how to do that if you don't go and watch my video on basic body so we are simply going to trace this out this is our front right so i'm not going to take our time to show you this part it's just a question of adding half inch all round you can add half inch by the side also since the fabric is a stretchy fabric right if it's not a stretchy fabric make sure you give up to 1.5 as your side seam allowance right okay you can see it i've done my cutting i added half inch all around now if your fabric is a stretchy fabric you don't even need to add side seam right this is just for a tutorial right so if your fabric is stretchy there's no the, there's no need adding a side seam allowance you can simply cut the side seam the same right but for this i'm just going to leave that half inch because what we have here is not stretchy and i want to sew it right so this is the front let's do for the back this is our back and i want to cut it out now again i'm going to add half inch everywhere even including the zipper allowance half inch because my fabric is assumed to be stretchy as you can see here, this is my back body is cut out with half inch sewing allowance all through. This is our cape again, and my lining is a blued off face, so make sure to add your notches just as you did on the main fabric. Now, your lining is going to be the same fabric with the, the cape, right? Everything here is just one color, right? It's just for the sake of tutorials, I'm doing this separate colors, right? Okay, so here we are, and the very first thing I want to sew is the cape. Make sure you align your notches like this. And we said we are not sewing that part, we are sewing just one part here. I'm using any thread of my choice here. We gave half inch, so I'm sewing by half inch. You can pin this together. You can decide to reinforce your cape with your fabric interfacing, which we call hair stay in Nigeria right I decide to do that to give you more stability that is just a choice depends on the fabric you're dealing with right so our advice to reinforce it using your fabric interfacing right you can see even without pinning i have my pieces stopping at the same point right so you need to be very careful if you know you cannot achieve it like this just make sure you pin right see where we started from 
and see where we ended right so it's a curve so we need to notch 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 at every one inch one inch interval notch notch right all the way close to the seam but not cutting the seam right and then trim down the seam allowance from half inch to 0 0.25 so i'm just going to do that trim it down to 0 0.25 Okay, so here we are. If you're done trimming down, make sure you press this, press the seam first to straighten it before you now turn to your right side and iron neatly. And whichever way you choose to iron, the choice is yours. Just make sure you iron very neatly. Like this fold it and iron again neatly like this now yours is going to be the same color for the lining and the main cape so you have nothing to worry about mine is two different colors so have this so I'm just going to make just one cape, of course, if you can do this for one side, you should be able to do it for the other side, right? Now, if there's any need to trim, you have to trim, right? Remember, this is our main fabric, the gold color. So if your lining becomes a bit longer here, trim down. Like this. Right, so I'm just doing this quickly to reduce the time, like so. Now we want to go over to the joining, right? This is our front pieces and the blue is the back. So this is our back, the center back. Remember how we joined the shoulder together on the pattern? The same thing you want to do here. So you want to go ahead and join these shoulders together back and front together like this using your half inch so i'll be right back okay so here we are with the two shoulders open right now at this point don't forget our bodies has a slit on the front which is about for me i want to go 3.5 inches depth like this right as a front neckline like this now if you are wondering how we are going to finish this neckline for me i'm going to use a facing right you should know how to cut the facing you can cut it on your pattern or you can cut it now by laying your fabric flat this way and then cut out on another fabric the shape of your facing a little bit wider than your neck right you can do four inches away from here that goes all the way round you can cut out your facing now or you can cut it from the pattern so whichever way do that and then we can now bring our cape as it is this cape is meant for this one here okay we have a notch to indicate the back side so this is it here this one is meant for this right so this is the right side remember this gold here is the right side of our fabric so this notch here is meant to be at the center which is the shoulder there so we have it this way you're going to flip it right side to right side right side to right side align your notch here at the shoulder now you see that the cape is longer than this of course is because we need we added allowance for pleats which we are going to be doing somewhere around the shoulder area here right you can make your pleats at about 3.5 or 3 inches from the shoulder on both sides so concentrate your pleats on this part here three inches behind three inches in front so concentrate your pleats here right remember we have done all the calculations so you simply go ahead and sew this together make your pleats right okay so here we are quickly i want to attach my cape i'm starting from the back right so i have the the waistline aligned there at this point you can sew less than half inch as your seam allowance we are going to make it half inch by the time we are attaching our side piece right so sew less than half inch now 
so I'm at the point where I want to make my pleats now I want to start making my pleats remember we want two pleats in front two pleats behind so we have calculated for that already each pleat is taking 1.5 inches that is 0.75 on a fold like this so I have another remember we have a center line here a center notch which must match with the shoulder line right so pleat until you have that matching with your shoulder line so I have two pleats behind now like this like this you can decide to make it more pleats I told you earlier so that is behind and again we are making exactly the same two pleats for the front watch the base at the front make sure you don't pleat too much to make your cape shorter than the front so you just want to, you can go ahead and pin remember i'm sewing with less than half inch seam allowance right so we have this sorry i'm trying to set this okay so with this i can now go ahead and continue my journey sewing this to the front right so whatever you do to this cape you do to the other side and again you see my base aligning the same right this is where we stopped this is where we started right so no one is longer than the other you don't want that to happen now you go to the side piece this is a side piece for this area i want to quickly join them together again join side front to side back using half inch on the shoulder quickly and then we want to go ahead of course this is blue goes to the back and then this is the front you want to start joining from the shoulder here now we have a notch there you can see your shoulder line there go ahead now you can join with your half inch seam allowance so that it covers the former stitch we made on the cape here right so go carefully you can decide to pin your center point together and come and start your sewing from the waistline right so that is the best thing to do we start the sewing from the waistline right so we have this we try not to make one longer than the other okay you have it good to go you do the same thing for your back here from the shoulder line now we want to sew to the front right to the back using half inch again you do this without stress so for this project you can decide to use lining or you can decide to use a facing for your neckline the choice is yours this gives us this cape and then of course let's join our side seam together for just one side that is how to achieve this cape right so i'm just going to sew it's So let's see how this turns out on our dress form. Thanks for watching. My name is Legendary. Okay, quickly before we go to the dress form, this is our cape. On the picture, this was top stitched to the front. Remember that one inch at the base of the cape? It was top stitched to the front, right? Like this. So you do this before joining the skirt part so that you don't miss it out. So we'll do this, it was top stitched to the center front. So I won't have this cape like this at the center front and I'll do the same thing at the center back it was top stitch to the center back like this right so you do this make sure you have this in place for the both side before you go and attach your skirt like this right so it was folded to the front like this center front center back right okay so here we go on our dress form this way right so i'm just going to pin this down you see we have not done the second side is exactly the same thing you're going to do so this is our center front and this measurement is quite small for my dress form right okay so this neckline you can see that there right so no sleeve fix yet and then we have the back of course so this is how to go about that cape now this was folded to the front i told you already so we have it like this right 
So this is how to go about it. This is our back, right? So thanks for watching. My name is Legendary.